Studios of WFN. This is Mike Zahn, Francesca on the fan on this Thursday, the second day of November. As we uh, say goodbye to the baseball season and start worrying about next year, which means worrying about uh, who's going to fill all the uh, all the jobs, trades, free agency, and everything else. The first order of business will be the Yankee manager, also filling the uh, staffs. The Mets obviously did a little of that yesterday, but we begin, of course, with the. Uh, seventh game of the World Series, which could not have been a bigger dud. You know, Fox couldn't get over themselves. I mean, they didn't do one Game 7 feature. They did three before the game started. I mean, they didn't. They did one, then they did another with, uh, you know, Matthew McGonaghy. Then they did a third one. I mean, by the time the game started, I was like, all right, I got the idea. There's a little drama involved with the Game 7. My God. I mean, they hit you over the head with it, and then the game couldn't have been a a bore if your life depended on it. It was just a terrible baseball game. Darvish didn't have it. You know, with the uh, ringing double, then the error. Uh, the next thing you know, he, uh, Roberts made a big mistake leaving him in. Big mistake. And they never could chase. I mean, they had plenty of opportunities. They even hit a couple of balls on, on the nose early in the game, but right at people with a couple of men on base. They left six guys on base in the first couple of innings. They got the line drive double play. Uh, so they had opportunities, the Dodgers did. And then the difference was the Astros got good pitching. And the Dodge, and the Dodgers just couldn't hit in the middle of the order. I mean, the, the, the middle of the Dodger order just fell apart, absolutely fell apart. And that was the biggest problem for the Dodgers here. And we went on to a ho-hum, really ho-hum uh, game seven. Could not have been a bigger bore, but what are you going to do? That's what you get sometimes. So the Astros get themselves as they uh, complete their building plan and win a World Series. They deserved it. You know, they beat a good Yankee team. They beat a, they beat a good Dodger team. Uh, they were extended in both series. Uh, so more power to them. I'm sure it was a frustrating loss for the Dodgers. If the Dodgers want to go back to where they lost this series, they lost it. Uh, I know Kershaw pitched well last night in relief, but they lost this series with Kershaw on the mound in game five. That's where they lost the series. They had a 4 nothing lead with Kershaw. They had a 7-4 lead with Kershaw. They couldn't hold either one, uh, and that's where they lost the series. That's a, that's, if you're going to look back, that's where they lost it without any question. That's a too much. If that's being too hard on Kershaw, so be it. But you know what? If you're the best, then you got to be the best. And he wasn't when his team had a lead and they had nothing to give offensively. The middle of the Dodger order really had a tough time in this series. And Turner, who we have all built up as this wonderful postseason player, had a terrible series. And Bellinger had even a worse series than that. So when you couple that with, uh, you know, some shaky pitching at times, you have a series that winds up the way it did. And the Dodgers went quietly into the night in their building with no drama, no fanfare, and a series that had a lot of, a lot of life. And the postseason for the, Amer if the postseason was really good. The Yankee Astros series was really wonderful. The Yankee Indian series was terrific. The Yankee comeback against Minnesota was terrific. The Yankees brought a lot to the postseason this year. So uh, the National League wasn't as interesting. The American League was more interesting because the Dodgers dominated, and then the Dodgers just ran out, uh, ran out of luck and ran out of offense in the last couple of days, and then find themselves falling a game short. Something they can maybe build on. We'll see. The Astros get themselves a championship. Congratulations to them. And now everybody gets ready to start anew, which means the Mets putting together a staff and then trying to see if they can fill the holes they have to fill. And the Yankees right now moving front and center looking for a, a manager, which becomes the next order of business. Now we move into the NFL. Uh, the Jets and the Bills tonight, so we'll get into that too. Uh, we'll do a little basketball today because we have the uh, Nick coach, Jeff Hornacek, uh, the Knicks weren't the match for Rockets. We didn't think they were. Uh, that's a little much. Rockets are going to be very tough. That's not a matchup the Knicks can handle. But they can handle the next couple of games. They have Phoenix. They have Indiana. They have Charlotte at home the next couple of days through next Tuesday. So they can win at a couple of those games. They had uh, won a couple of games in a row before last night. They can live with that. So we'll talk to him about what he thinks about where his team is right now. Uh, we'll check in on the Yankee situation as now that becomes the big story until they fill it. And then, of course, we'll see what the Jets do tonight and what the Giants do on the weekend as the Giants continue to have internal problems to go with their, to go with their injuries, to go with their awful start. They now have internal issues to deal with. 
uh, and they're trying to deal with those right now. So add all that up, and that's a lot on their plate as they get ready to play the Rams, who are having a very good run this year under their new head coach. So that's where we are. Uh, we say goodbye to baseball. Uh, everyone was so excited for Game 7. It could not have been more of a dud, but, hey, it happens sometimes. You know, every game's not going to be a classic. There's not much you can do about it. You know, when the series goes seven games, the big winners are baseball and the network. They're the big winners. It wasn't dramatic. We were hoping for maybe a little more drama last night. It did not happen. Uh, and now everybody's chasing the Astros, and that chase begins today. Back after this. If you're a pro... 